Would I recommend the click or behold? I don't have the click yet, so when I get that, I'll let you know. Um, I'm considering getting the behold too on Wednesday. Is this the best Android phone Timo will have right now? Um, I don't know. I guess since I haven't tried the click, I can't really say. I think there are much better things coming. I'm hoping very soon. Uh, how how the others have better processors? Um, so far, Timo phones are all the same, I think, um, and more RAM. Uh, I just watched your video of the boxing, and you made a comment. Oh, okay. I should mention really quick about the RAM. Um, the official specs that I've seen online are kind of being disputed, and Samsung was really weird about how they, you know, launched this phone, like not giving phone, um, the specs and the price right off the bat. And I saw uh, a few tweets this morning from reputable people saying that they were getting confirmation that the phone has 320 megabytes. So you know what? I'll check into that. I can actually check that and um, put the text at the bottom of the screen here. All right, next question. Can you use fake nails? Well, this is a capacitive touch screen, which means no. Um, my fingernails are kind of long right now anyway, so let me see if I can do it without getting any. See, if I just use my nail there, I'll get a sim. No, see, because you're not conducting, I think it has to do with like an interruption of an electrical signal um, going across the screen, something like that. I don't really know the technology of capacitive screens, but the answer is no, no fake nails. Can you play music and do other stuff? Well, why don't we give it a shot here? I'm gonna I'm gonna use the oddball cube interface for that. And they should have some. Here we go. Demo tracks, so we'll try Fugitive by David Gray. Okay. So let's just go home and I'm gonna stay within the TouchWiz launcher. And let's go into the dialer. Uh, of course, if you make a call, I'm sure it'll stop. Let's go back and launch the browser. Again, you won't have to select your home like that. It's just because I have not specified a default. It's, it's like the same as other Android phones in this respect. Android's default messaging, by the way, I think is much easier to use than Samsung's. I'm not sure why they replaced that. or the, um, I can see why they would want a custom dialer, but the, the contacts are easier in the standard Android. Okay, can you IM without a data plan? Like the original Behold, is a data plan required? Um, I'm going to call T-Mobile on this one, and I will put text right here. Is a data plan required for Behold? Hopefully they'll have that information for me. I think they say it is on all Android devices. Um, and can you IM without uh, a data plan like the original Behold? Now, the next question is similar. If I have no data plan, is there a way for me to either skip registration on the first boot or is there a way to turn on the Wi-Fi? Yes, this is one of the Android devices that did not require me to enter my Gmail address. I set up Wi-Fi, I was doing uh, web browsing, I didn't have to set up my uh, Gmail until I went into the market or the actual Gmail app. So that's uh, it's not required just to get into the phone and get it working. Of course it's required for the full with Google features, but uh, you can use it uh, without setting up a Gmail. Last question, can I transfer my apps from a G1? The easiest way to do it is when you go into your market, Go to Menu and My Downloads. Then you can just re-download your apps. I mean, if you're going to reinstall them anyway from a backup program, this is just as quick. You know, you can see what you've purchased, what's been downloaded. Um, the problem is, 
and this is probably a lot of it has to do with me using different cooked ROMs on a hacked G1. Some of the apps I've installed in the past and purchased don't show up. Really important ones too. And then I end up, you know, with the Flavor of Love soundboard popping up on every new phone I go to the market in. Like I ever need that again, you know? It was really poorly done anyway, actually. But um, yeah, I mean, if you search the market for backup, and I don't know if you're... Uh, transferring from an SD card. There are unofficial ways, but just search the market for backups. And the only one I can really vouch for is one called My Backup. This is the trial version, but there's a My Backup Pro that can back up your apps to SD or online, and it can do scheduled backups. So uh, there are more options available, but this is the only one I can really say I've used and, and uh, have had a good experience with. All right, so that's it for now. I'll try to get to uh, a couple more of these videos as soon as I can. Take care.